Jesus Christ, finally! <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Madame Mega and welcome, welcome back to the Pokedex quests. Yeah, it feels so good to finally say that. Finally, after all this time, after all the all the everything that went on in between, but now we can finally move on to the next generation of Pokemon, the next chapter of the Pokedex quest. So let's just jump right in and get this started. Let's play Pokemon Crystal version. So, if you're joining us for the first time, what the Pokedex quest is, is pretty much a gigantic Let's Play project of the mine, where I'm going to go through every main series Pokemon game and complete its Pokedex. It, it, yes, it is a dumb idea. It's been a dumb idea from the start, and... Oi, just trying to get this ready was a massive headache, but... Anyway, new game time. Am I a boy, or am I a girl? Hmm. Yeah. Fun thing, and this is where we start getting into stuff that's a little bit different. Uh, this wasn't in Gold and Silver, the games that came before this. Uh, Crystal is the uh, third uh, sister game, uh, much like Yellow was. But um, Gold and Silver you didn't have the option. Crystal is actually the first game that lets you choose your gender, which is very interesting. Roll 63! Engage! <laughs> yep, just to show it off, I'm going to be a girl for this Plankter. <laughs> oh, welcome up. I knew I was yelling too loud. God damn. <laughs> what time is it, eh? Well, where I am, it is... About 10 at night. This is going to become important later. Trust me. Yep, it is 10 o'clock. Um, and... Six minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it's 10 or 6 at night. No wonder it's so dark. Really? Ah, uh, there he is. Pokemon Prof himself, Professor Oak. Oh, I guess he hasn't really introduced himself, but anyway, moving on. Welcoming us once again to the world of Pokemon. Yep, this is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. The word Professor doesn't exist. We just we just shortened it and removed Professor from the dictionary. It's just Prof. Now, as you may have been able to guess, this creature, this creature. This creature? Yeah, yeah, the creature is a Pokemon. Um, yeah. uh, this world is inhabited by these creatures that are that you call the Pokemon. That is a whiff right there, and look, it's just adorable. Look how happy it is with no arms. Now, if you can be happy and have no arms, then phew, you are, you're a stronger man than I am. <laughs> people of Pokemon live together and support each other. Some people play and some battle with them. Guess which one we're going to be doing more of. <laughs> But we still don't know everything about them. Yet. I'm not sure we have a will. I'm not sure I have a will. It, it, it's, it's weird. <laughs> many mysteries. Many, many mysteries. And that's why you study Pokemon every day. Yeah, good to know. And that is me. That's what I look like. Yeah, Rule 63, guys. <laughs> For every given male character, there is a female version of that character and vice versa. Um, I'm not going to recite the second line of that rule because I'm terrified of what may come out of it. <laughs> what, is, what did we say our name was? Well, we didn't, but we can choose one. Now, canonically, this girl is named as Chris. So, for Crystal. But, because it's me, uh, I need to name my own. And I've already thought of one. Oh, starting with the M, so uh, some of the originality value has just seriously gone down. But, uh, anyway. I really, really like the name Maya. So, I'm going to stick with that. Maya is going to be my female persona. <laughs> uh, I'm digging a hole. Digging, digging a hole. <laughs> Alright. But our very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. It's fun times, tough challenges, a world of dreams and adventures, yada yada yada, we've heard all this before. So, it is time! Let us be midgetized! Ah. Look at, look at the colors. So much more colorful now. Yes, uh, this, is the, this is the power of Game Boy Color technology. <laughs> yeah, check out our room here. Damn bed. Alright, back to bed. Every Let's Play is going to start like this, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Got our very own PC here. Now, unlike last time, we don't have a potion, but uh, we don't need it. So that'll be fine. We've also got mailbox and decoration. Hmm. Might have to come back to those. Okay. There's a, we've got a little radio here. 
Professor X Pokemon Talk. Please tune in next time. Oh, we completely missed it. Pokemon Channel. Oh, we didn't completely miss it. Oh, wait, yes, we did completely miss it. God damn. <laughs> Alright, TV. It's a TV. Very, uh, very astute observation there. <laughs> Bookshelf. Whole collection of Pokemon picture books. Nice. And... This is the town map. This is the Johto region, the new region in which we are going to unfold our brand new journey here in the second generation. Uh, it's... Got a, a lot of new stuff here. It's a brand new place, with a brand new attitude. Pokemon Johto. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah, lots of new stuff for us. A brand new region for us to explore, and of course, there should be many new Pokemon. At least I assume so, because if there isn't, then what's the point? <laughs> Why am I still doing this? Why am I doing this in the first place? If the if you answered because I'm insane, yes, you are indeed very much correct. <laughs> Downstairs we go. Hey, Mom. Oh, our neighbor Professor Elm is looking for us. Eh, not Professor Oak, Professor Elm. And why did Oak appear in our dreams? Why are we dreaming about Oak? Um... So I don't know why Maya here was dreaming about Oak. Um, she does not speak for me, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> he wants us to do something for him. Oh, great. We get to play Erin Girl. Oh, our Pokemon gear has returned from the repair shop. And we have Poke Gear, which is a brand new mechanic in this game. What mechanic? Feature? Uh, something along those lines. I swear I studied game design. <laughs> Pokemon gear or just Poke gear? It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. And we haven't set the day of the week! Oh, how <laughs> could I forget? It is... what day is it? It is Friday. It is Friday. Um... I don't know, but... I don't want it to be. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. We can come home to adjust our clock for daylight saving time. Do we know how to use the phone? Do we know how to use the phone? No, Mum, I'm a complete idiot. How do we use a phone? It comes with instructions. <laughs> Alright, so the phone is actually in the Poke Gear. We just turn the Poke Gear on, we select the phone icon, and any phone numbers we have are stored in its memory. And we just choose a name that we'd like to call. That is pretty convenient. It's not like smartphones now. We just like, go into the phone app, and just go look for our contacts, just press a name, and look, there's the number. We just need to press ring, and there we go. It's very convenient. Good old technology. Anyway, now that the uh, little tutorial there is over, there's going to be a lot more of them, trust me. A movie on TV. Stars dot the skies. Two boys riding a train. I feel I should know the name of the movie this is referencing. I just can't. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Good evening! Who are you? You're visiting! Great. Have we heard what? Your daughter is adamant about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. Well, if you live in this world, I can assume that you at least have, you know, some level of respect for Pokemon, if not love them outright. And if you don't, what kind of monster are you? God damn! What's in the fridge here? Fresh water and tasty $350 lemonade! <laughs> God damn! Mom? How rich are we? <laughs> Do I even need to go on this adventure? Uh, who am I kidding? I want to. Look at that! It's dark! Well, it is night time, which, you know, makes sense. But, uh, yeah. Because we actually set the time to be sometime late at night, it's actually dark out. It's night time. This is a mechanic I'm going to go into a little more, just, in, just a little bit down the road. But for starters, let's just, uh, let's have a look around our town here. This is... New Bark Town, the town where the winds of a new beginning blow. Ah, uh, it sounds nice. And this, this of course is my house. Yes, my house, not my mother's house. It is mine. We've been over this before. Yo! First, I've discovered some new Pokemon. Oh, I want one. Oh, but I should probably keep exploring first. Exploring is always the first priority in games. And if it's not, then your priorities are backwards. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Right, this, uh, this is Elm's house. It's not where we're gonna find the man himself, but, you know, we can at least, you know, dig into all his, uh... Yeah, invade his privacy. That's what I wanted to say. Dig into his what? Well, uh, given that, uh, my girl my here was dreaming about professors earlier, I don't think I want to know the answer to that question. 
My husband's always so busy. Let's go up and research him for guest. Oh, the feels. Oh, the feels. <laughs> when you grow up, you're going to help your dad. The great Pokemon professor. Chin up, kid. You can do it. You'd, you can do anything you dream to do. I wanted that to be a little more inspirational than it actually came out, but I got nothing. <laughs> the Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon now. Huh. It was Professor Elm that actually found this out. He's famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Yeah, I mean, a good research like that, you, you, they, there's, there's something to aspire to, yes. Anyway. Wow, your Pokemon is impressive. Why, thank you. It just came back from the repair shop. <sighs> yes, she did. Anyway... I would go in and have a look at the lab, but... <laughs> what? Don't show us Leo to be at least 50 meters of... <laughs> I had a joke then, I ruined it. <laughs> Don't you know it's illegal to be any more than 50 meters away from your house without a Pokemon? <laughs> ah, the joke's already over. God damn. Shut up, Sakia. I'm not even halfway through the episode and I'm already getting myself in a shit. <laughs> well, Pokemon jump out of the grass on the way to the next town. So, yes, that is the entire reason why we're not allowed to leave a town without a Pokemon. In fact, it's pretty much illegal to do so. Because while Pokemon are out there, we can't just avoid grass. No, we just to go out to a place where there is grass in the first place, we need to have a Pokemon on hand. Anyway, huh. You look strange. And there's a boy behind you, too. You're a strange sign. <laughs> anyway, this is the own Pokemon lab. Alright, so... Uh, what's your story, pal? It's the famous Elm Pokemon lab. Yes, indeed. Um, I was staring at your surprisingly red hair. How do you get it like that? Oi! Bastard! No, it's not worth it. Anyway, here's the man himself, Professor Elm. Yes, here I am. Uh, what do you need me to do this time? Conducting new research, and you need me to run an errand for you. <laughs> I'm sure. Writing a paper to present at a conference, but there are some things you don't understand yet. All right. Well, you already started, so I may as well keep explaining. You want us to raise a Pokemon that you recently caught. I'm down for this kind of errand. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> yes, my I'm sure we'll develop a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. I'm sure. Because there totally aren't still mysteries to this day, six generations later. Well, nearly six. Yeah. Here's an email on his laptop. Which is near his desktop, because the, <laughs> apparently back in uh, back in around the year 2000, we we're already in the time where we need a desktop, a laptop, and some kind of tablet. I have a feeling you're going to tell me about this email anyway, so just get it over with. We have an acquaintance called Mr. Poke. How original! He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Well, if he's got a name like Mr. Pokemon, I'm sure that's not the only thing he's raving about. Anyway... This time it's real. Oh, this time, huh? What were all the other times, then? It's intriguing, but you're busy, so you're gonna get me to do something about it, aren't ya? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, come on, play it on me. Yeah, I thought so. Lazy old coot. But I still get a Pokemon, so... I mean... Really so bad. I wouldn't be our Pokemon's first partner. Alright, so let us pick our very first Pokemon. Yep, a new region means three whole new starts for us to choose from. We got quite a selection here too, so... First up, we have the Fire-type Cyndaquil. And... the other two. We're going with Cyndaquil. <laughs> Okay, I may as well actually go over them. So, 
So, Cinequil is our fire type. So, back in Gen 1, did you like Charmander? If you did, I'm very disappointed in you. But, I suppose you'll feel right at home here because... The Cinequil and Charmander families both have the exact same stat distribution across all their evolutionary lines. So, you got into familiar territory here. Thing is, Cyndaquil throughout its evolutionary line stays as a pure fire type, meaning less weaknesses than the fire flying type that is Charizard, and frankly, I think that Cyndaquil just uses all those strengths better than the Charmander line does. Basically what I'm saying is, I think Charizard sucks. <laughs> and Typhlosion is superior starter, okay? <laughs> Yeah, we'll look over the others, because we do actually have a decent selection here. Next up, we have Totodile, the water Pokemon. Now, Totodile here is a, is a bit more physical base, more in the attack and defense. Which, given that we're still in a time where a move being physical or special is still determined by what stat it is, given that it's a water type, you may think it's a little bit odd, but... Totodile does get some pretty good physical moves down the line, and his special is not lagging too far behind. He still serves very much well as a water type. So, yeah, you got a pretty good, well-balanced, middle-of-the-road kind of choice here. And finally... We have our grass type, Chikorita. Chikorita is a defensive grass type through and through. It's going to be spending much more of its time trying to stay alive and inflict status conditions than actually doing damage. Which is not a bad thing at all, it fits the grass type fairly well. Here's the thing. Chikorita is one of the most hated starters in the entire series. And I think most of that comes from the fact that this is not a region that is kind to grass types. Picking Chikorita here will leave you at a serious disadvantage just because well, grass types in general are just disadvantaged throughout this entire region. Its final evolution, Meganium, is a really good Pokemon, and I recommend picking Chikorita if you want to have a bit of a challenge for your game. But those are its major weaknesses, and that's why people hate it. But again, it is generally a good Pokemon. Again, it's a good defensive grass type, so it does its job, just in the wrong region to do it. <laughs> but uh, as I kind of probably alluded to before, yeah, um, Cyndaquil is uh, the go-to here. Cyndaquil is the only one you should be picking. Okay, I might forgive you to pick Totodile, but seriously, Cyndaquil is still like the only one you should be picking. <laughs> Alright, and we have Cyndaquil. Ah, and let's give it a nickname. Now, if you're familiar with how I do things by now, by familiar I mean watch the one other Pokemon Let's Play I did. I feel very sorry for you if you did. <laughs> I tend to nickname all my Pokemon with a reference to something. Thing is, I have never had any idea what to nickname a Cyndaquil in reference to. Since I was young, I had a habit of naming my fire type starters something specific. And this has changed out the years in most of them, but with Cyndaquil it stayed the same. Blaze. Now, I guess this could be a reference to Sonic, but as is kind of obvious by now, Cyndaquil is not a cat. But Blaze is still fire-related and is still a very cool name in my opinion, so I'm going to stick with that. Just because I... I gave myself... I gave myself enough time to try and come up with something else and couldn't do it. I'm not going to give myself more time now. I'm already wasting like 20 minutes of it. <laughs> Alright, so Miss Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove, next city over. Almost a wreck route there, so you can't miss it. But, just in case, we're gonna get Professor Elm's phone number. Our very first phone number. Phone number. Phone number. <laughs> ah, I'm already flubbing up all my words. That's great. If our Pokemon are hurt, we can come back and heal it with that machine. So, Elm has his own healing machine like they have in Pokemon Centers. That's handy. I wish I could take one with me. <laughs> <laughs> can we make like a compact version of one of those so I can just heal Pokemon on the fly? <laughs> that would be awesome. And look! It's Elm's aid! I can't make the same joke I did last time, it's... It is, there's only one of them. <laughs> anyway. His aid will give us a potion. This is why we didn't need one in our storage. We're just gonna get one anyway. <laughs> there's only two of us, so we're always busy. Yeah, I can understand that. Anyway. Moving on out of here, so now that we have a brand new Pokemon, we're actually allowed to leave the town! How about that? And we are out here on Route 29, between Cherry Grove City 
and New Bark Town. And given how cities work, I'm guessing this one is going to be like, what, five, six buildings and that's about it? That's what constitutes a city in the Pokemon mod, at least the minimum for one. <laughs> anyway, hello there. Pokemon high in the grass, who knows when they'll pop out. Yeah? Yeah? Now, before we do anything else, I want to start going into a couple of things that's changed in this generation. So let's, well actually let's have a look at our Pokemon gear first. So, all we got here is the phone so far. Like, oh, first one wasn't our first phone number. The phone number, first phone number was mum. <laughs> so we can come into the phone app here and we can call anyone we have a number for. So, handy. We don't need to do that now, so we may as well just show it off a little later. But, Pokemon. And there's Blaze there. Now, as always, we can go in, check his stats. See, see what he's got. You see there? Item. Berry. Hmm. You'll see there's a strange box in front of Blaze's sprite there. That's because, as of this generation, Pokemon can now hold items. Now, your starter Pokemon always comes holding a berry, and I'm going to actually give that berry back to him. And items can have different effects, so... Given what, depending on what it is, different Pokemon can use them at different times. Berries, for example... I think this might be the debut of berries, actually. Berries can act as um, healing items, pretty much. I'll go into that a little more later when we actually find more berries, but... Basically, what it means for Blaze to hold a berry here is that once he gets down to low HP, if he gets down to low HP, he'll use that berry to heal himself. And there are a lot more held items that have a lot more different effects, and we're going to come across a fair bunch of them later on. So, yeah. I guess something else I can point out is that our backpack here actually has different pockets. We have so much more storage now. There's still some limited space, sure, but not nearly as limited as on Pokemon <laughs> Red, Blue, and Yellow, which is great. Also, before I forget, I need to stress something. Look at the stats. You see what's different? See something that wasn't there before? The special stat has officially been split into special attack and special defense. Which is how it should have been in the first place. Fucking hell, Game Freak. <laughs> But yes, the special stat has been split into special attack and special defense. Now, what this means for Pokemon from the first generation is that, well, now there's a bit more depth to them. And whatever their special stat was, one of their new special stats keeps that value while the other value gets something else. So for some Pokemon, they got a decent buff. Some got a decent nerf. And some, it didn't really affect too much. Uh, this does unfortunately mean that um, our almighty wish-granting dragon, Gyarados, is uh, not quite as good anymore because uh, it's not quite as much of the all-around powerhouse that it used to be. It truly is a shame, but you'll get back up there eventually. Just give it two more generations. <laughs> They're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. Well, it's good of you to tell me that when we have mandatory grass to walk through. Pay some points. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, we head up this way. We get a wild battle! Yeah! A uh, wild battle for frick's sake. Yep, Raditz is a back too. Let's take it out, shall we? <laughs> really? I missed on the very. Alright. <laughs> it did too! This is a fantastic first wild battle that we're experiencing right here. <laughs> So, as is usual, Pokemon can have up to one of, or up to four moves to choose from. Some do damage, some inflict certain effects, some lower stats. What Raz is doing there, Tail Whip, is dropping my defense. So if it attacks me, it's going to do a little more damage with a physical attack. Uh, thing is, Raz is already done for. Of course, in battle, we can also go into our bag and use items and switch out to different Pokemon if we have them. We do not at the moment, and here's another wild battle. And it's another Rattata. Uh, give me just a sec, guys. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna take care of this. Alright. Now, another significant change you'll notice is something in the UI here. Whenever Pokemon gains experience, that blue bar there will go up. Yeah, we now have a visual indicator for experience. So, yeah, that's neat. Anyway, over here we find another potion. Because we definitely need it. Definitely. I, I swear, we'll need it. 
Mm -hmm. Of course, another Rabbiter. You know, other Pokemon can appear in this root game. And with that, Blaze is already leveled up. Up to level 6. Whenever a Pokemon gets enough experience to have a level up, their stats will increase. They also have a chance to learn new moves, like Blaze will learn Smokescreen Heal, and sometimes other things can happen. You already know I'm talking about evolution. <laughs> but we're not quite there yet. Now, can I get through this without... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I want to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. Yes, you can hit this save button here and save your progress whenever it suits you. Anytime you want. I probably should go... And... Oh, my tech speed's already fast. Sweet, that works well. I'll be supposed to change the frame type if you want to. Hmm. Maybe I'll play around with this later, but I'm not too fussed with how it is now. It's all good. Yeah, if we go up through here... Have a little gateway. Can't climb ledges, but you can jump down them. Let's take a shortcut. Yeah, handy to know. Yeah, if you come across any ledges, what kinds of Pokemon appear past here? If you want to catch them all, like we of course do, we have to look everywhere. Yep. Up here, Route 46! You're just on Route 29! <laughs> yeah, that is not a mistake. Uh, this is pretty much the point where the entire Johto region loops back around. So we're actually at uh, what's pretty much the very last route of the game. Well, last route of the region, not the game. We can still find Pokemon there and they're still as weak as they are around here because, you know, it's still the start of the game. Anyway. Now, in terms of wild encounters here, I'm going to be handling them pretty much the same way I did last time. If we've seen them before, and I've, well, not really seen them before, but basically I'm going to be skipping the majority of wild encounters and I only will be showing them when we have the ability to catch them. When I'm catching something, I will show it. If not, I'll skip it, unless I'm talking about something. And just need something to fill the space while I'm talking about it. <laughs> Anyway, this is a fruit bearing tree. And it's a berry. Alright. We got our very first berry that did not come from the, uh, the pocket of our very own Pokemon. Yes, but uh, berries do indeed act as little healing items. A self restore item. It restores 10 HP. Now, we can use it ourselves in battle, just give it to the Pokemon and heal it there. Or, as I said before, we can have them hold the berry. And once they get into low HP, they'll use it by themselves and just heal it, that, just heal it up on their own. Kind of saves the need for us having to, you know, spend a turn healing them. Waiting for Pokemon to only appear in the morning. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. Of course. Oh, that's new. Yes, we've never seen this Pokemon before. You didn't think it'd just be all Raditor, did you? <laughs> We're on a brand new region. That means brand new Pokemon. And this is the, uh, the first of the brand new Pokemon, Hoot Hoot. Which I'd be glad to catch right now, but we can't catch anything yet because A, we don't have a Pokedex, and B, we don't have Pokeballs. So, I'm just gonna take this thing down. Attacking the natural wildlife. It's fantastic. It's fun. This is fun. This is really fun. <laughs> and there's the berry in action! <laughs> Yeah, I would have taken it out by now, but I used Growl every turn, so it's not quite getting very far, and since I was only at 13 health... Yeah, but there is using a berry in action. Many different held items will be used in a pretty similar way, depending on, you know, what they're capable of doing. Growl probably failed because you probably already used it enough times on me. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, a fair bunch more AXP than what a Rattata would give me. Then again, anything's better than a Rattata. Oh, those are just scary. Right. But, yeah. We do limit the amount of grass you have to walk through by jumping down the ledges and taking a shortcut back to Nubark. Anyway, moving on this way. It is another sign for Route 29, meaning we must be at the end. And here we are, Cherry Grove City. Hello there, old man. How art thou? Rookie trainer. How exactly can you tell? I might have been born with a Pokeball in my hand. You never know. I mean, like, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, everyone is a rookie at some point. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's go and show us around town here. So this is a Pokemon Center. Go here whenever your Pokemon are hurt or, you know, poisoned or, you know, on death's doorstep. And, yeah, they'll be healed right up as if nothing happened. We will be relying on them a lot. So, yeah, he's right about that one. <laughs> 
This here is a Pokemon Mart, or a Pokemart for short. I sell balls! Yes. <laughs> they sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items like potions and other junk. Now that way is Route 30. Trains will be battling their prized Pokemon out there. That way is also the way to Mr. Pokemon's house, which we should be heading very soon. This is the sea, as you can see. Ha <laughs> I laugh! It was funny! Not back on In the water! <laughs> and what else is that show? This is your house! Right! No strange danger at all. But then again, I think we've just. I think we've already established at this point that apparently uh, our girl Mai here has a thing for older gentlemen. We. <laughs> He's gonna give us a small gift. You get a map card. Uh, that, that card gets loaded right into our Pokegear, and now we have a town map on us at all times. So yeah, Spike Gear becomes more useful as we add more cards. So if we go into our Pokegear, we find we now have a map app. Map app. Map app. Map. What am I doing? <laughs> Anyway, now we have a town map on us at all times, so yeah, handy. Let's talk to the peoples. I mean, with Pokemon, going anywhere is fun. Yes, it is. <sighs> the actors in Detective Pikachu are living out my dream. It may just be all CG, but they're still living it out. Those bastards. <laughs> Chango City. The city of cute, fragrant flowers. All, uh... Four, eight... Yeah, all eight of them. All eight flowers in this town. <laughs> I see how good you are as a Pokemon trainer. Then we better visit gyms and collect badges. Yeah, second verse, same as the first, really. And this kid's gonna be a gym leader when they grow up. I'm gonna Pokemon battle with my friends to make them tougher. I wanted to say stronger, but I actually said tougher. My reading ability is also going down. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Actually, that might be 16 flowers. I think the way it's animating, I think it kind of infers that there's two flowers there. So it might be 16. Yeah, 16 flowers. Anywhere from 8 to 16 flowers. <laughs> this Pokemon's house is still farther up ahead. Right. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. That was a weird lad. <laughs> Who are you now? Catch lots of Pokemon. I was going to do that even if I don't want to become strong because I kind of got ulterior motives here. <laughs> Moving on. Pokemon gain experience in battle and change their form. Yeah, I mentioned evolution earlier. You all know what we're talking about. Pokemon change? Oh, well. Someone's been left out of the loop. How unfortunate it is to be them. Uh, I don't really need to go to Pokemon Center, do I? I mean, that berry just... Yeah, Blaze is fine. Blaze is all good. So, we are just going to move on ahead. To... A wild battle. Yeah, level 7. Yeah, if you're wondering why my health is so low, uh, <laughs> I ran into a Poliwag. And uh, at this current step, point in time, uh, water types are kind of bad for my health. So I'm just gonna... Yeah. Oh, may as well just show off our Pokemon Center's work now. Besides, there's more people to talk to in them. Communication Center upstairs was just built. Hmm, I'll have to go and check that out later. PC is free for any trainer to use. Yeah, I'll have to check that out later too. You can store any number of Pokemon and it's all free. That is handy. How is Bill doing these days? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are pretty late, isn't it? It's nearly 11 o'clock. Anyway, so, we come here to Nurse Joy. I don't think she's ever actually referred to explicitly as Nurse Joy in the games at all, but we all know her as Nurse Joy, so I'm just going to keep on calling her that. Okay, bring her our Pokemon and she will fully heal them. There is now no longer even a scratch. Although I don't think that bubbles really do any scratches. It's more like... I don't, even, I don't even really know where I'm going with this, but, you know. <laughs> anyway. Route 30, between Violet Siri and 
Vi Violet Siri. <laughs> Violet City and Terra Grove City. Fruit bearing tree. With another berry. Hmm. Yeah, it may actually be a good idea to, uh... <laughs> to give this berry to Blaze to make up for the one he used earlier on a wild Pokemon that he had no business using it on. This is getting off to a great start, guys. <laughs> Pokemon eat berries. Really? The big one got healthier by eating a berry. Really? Oh, but I'll give us another one. Alright. I'll take back my uh, intense sarcasm. For now. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Ooh, I see an item up ahead. Can I get it without running into a Yes! And with that, we have ourselves an antidote. Antidote can cure poison, which we haven't run into yet. We'll run into it later. Well, we, we will run into it later, trust me. <laughs> Mr. Pokemon's house. It's further ahead. Good to know. Not this way, obviously. Oh, it's even playing the battle music. Between a Rattata. A big battle. You're only using a Rattata. Rattata have no place in big battles, okay? <laughs> Let's pack one house straight ahead. Alrighty. Let us head on up. And yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. Yeah, I just ran away from that one. I've, <laughs> I've uh, got no more business fighting the wild encounters at the moment. <laughs> Don't want to be too overpowered for when I eventually start catching them. Anyway. Yeah, we got a Pizzen Cure Berry. It cures you from the status of having logged onto the PlayStation Network. <laughs> uh, seriously, this pretty much acts, acts as the berry version of an antidote. It can cure poison. Yeah, that's another thing. So like the regular berries that heal HP, there are some status berries that can heal a Pokemon if they are inflicted with that status condition. All without having to use up a turn to heal. It's great. Now, around here somewhere... Is a potion hidden in these flowers. Yes, uh... Indeed, hidden items do return, and I will do my best to f look for pretty much all of them. I think I wrote down where all of them are. Guess we'll find out later, huh? Well, maybe not. I mean, there's no, like, in-game counter for it or anything. Like, you know, not like the freaking hidden treasures in Mario RPG. That one I missed still pisses me off. <laughs> and this is indeed Mr. Pokemon's house. And here we are. I like your hat. That's a nice hat. Alright, so, what you got for me? This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. A mystery egg. Huh. Alright, I'll just chuck that in my bag. Yeah, no safety or anything, just throw an egg into my bag there, it's all good. <laughs> right, a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service, and they gave him the egg. Hmm. Alright. Well, this one is indeed real, so, you know, an egg, is, an egg might be something to go on about. As we've already been over, Professor Elm is indeed uh, pretty much the high authority on evolution. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. So, oh, so is that's that's him right over there. That's the Oak Man himself. I had a dream about you. But Maya had a dream about you, not me. I don't dream about. N no, no. Just, just clear that up now. <laughs> anyway, speaking of, aha! Need to finally get to meet Oak face to face. Visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. Oh. So, he heard about me coming by for a year and then just stuck around. Alright. Fair enough. A rare Pokemon! And here comes the hard on. Understand why he gave us Pokemon, eh? Right. Researchers like Professor Realm and I, Pokemon are our friends. Yeah, Pokemon are my friends too. We at least have that in common. Of course! Is there any other way to treat Pokemon other than with love and care? Ask yourself, is there any other way to treat Pokemon other than with love and care? Of course there isn't. Because you're not a monster. <laughs> anyway. Help you out with what, Oak? What is it that you would need from an 11, 12 year old like myself? The latest version of, drumroll please, the Pokedex. Here we go again. 
Here we go again. Automatically oh, records data on Pokemon we've seen or caught. We need to actually catch them to get full entries. If we just see them, we get a picture of them and where we can find them again. And that's about it. The high-tech encyclopedia. In fact, it's so high-tech, it has nothing in it. <laughs> we have the Pokedex. So it's time to officially kick off the second generation of the Pokedex quest. Yay. <laughs> this whole thing was my idea. Why am, why am I so depressed about it? That's he just got a golden rod for his usual radio show. <laughs> You've got a radio show in a completely different region. Yeah, great. <laughs> That's gotta be great for business. Anyway. So Mr. Pokemon will actually let us heal our Pokemon before we leave. And off we go. Now first, of course, the Pokedex. Yeah, as usual. Again, see Pokemon we've already seen, get a little picture of them, and see where exactly in the world we can find them. Hear a little cry of them. Ugh, makes me want to vomit every time I hear it. <laughs> and, of course, if we have caught them, we get a little bit more. We get a full-on entry for them. So, Cyndaquil is the Fire Mouse Pokemon. It's a mouse. I've always thought it was more like an echidna. Something like that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into this a little more. <laughs> the fire that spouts from its back burns hottest when it is angry. The flaring flames intimidate foes. Oh. And, a returning feature from Pokemon Yellow. If we have a Game Boy printer, we are able to print our Pokedex pages. It's a nice little tune here. <laughs> now obviously, because I'm yet again playing on an emulator, I can't exactly hook this up to a Game Boy printer. <laughs> but if if somehow you have a Game Boy printer, <laughs> you can hook up your Game Boy to it and uh, yeah, print these out. Anyway, out we go. And as soon as we step out, we already get a phone call from Elm. Yes, Elm, I got the thing. Oh, uh, what? A disaster, you say? Yeah, what, what happened? I, I can answer that question if you tell me what happened. For, Al, Al. Ah, well, as usual, no one tells me shit. <laughs> Just another day in the life of Mad Omega. Anyway, on the way back to Cherry Grove City. Now. It's a good thing we just got healed up there, because, uh... Yeah, I, I just get this funny feeling. That something's gonna happen. Just this feeling. Don't know what it is. Anyway. I don't recognize you. You pushed me. I did. I didn't get a Pokemon at the lab. Oh! Oh! Oh, we're gonna start with this already, are we? Woo! All right. All right, come on. Yep. Yep, keep it up, keep it up, come on. Yeah. What are you saying? Okay, sure. So what? Yeah, I, I didn't really get any answers there. <laughs> anyway. We get to fight this brat. Question mark, question mark, question mark is his name. He sends out... Okay. You specifically chose that because you watched me pick up the Cyndaquil. That's alright. That's fine. I'ma just, uh... Shoot you with lasers from my eyes. Cause, uh... I wanna take you down a little faster. So I don't really wanna look at your face for very long. I don't really need to leer, I just feel like it. I just wanna inflict, like, a lot more damage than usual, because... I don't know, just looking at this guy just pisses me off. <laughs> he got a critical as well. Hmm. Oh, crap. Alright. And there goes another berry. Great. Okay, well, I 
It shouldn't be. It shouldn't really be too pain about that because berries are not a finite resource. We can just keep getting them. I didn't want to have to use two berries in the first episode of all things. I mean, Christ. That did give us an instant level up, though, so that's nice. It's very nice. Yeah, moving on up in the world. This feels great. Of course I'm happy I won. I beat you into the dust. And got money. Yes, winning Pokemon Battles does indeed net you money. It's great. Your name is question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a mouthful. Your parents must have hated you. You're going to be the world's greatest trainer. <laughs> you couldn't even beat me now. <laughs> and he pushed me again. Great. That is fantastic. You know, there's a, a bet as fantastic as a rash on your ass. <laughs> Sorry, was that a bit too much information? <laughs> anyway, well... I think we can connect two and two here, because uh, Press Realms calling about a disaster. This kid has a Pokemon from the lab. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that uh, we know exactly what's just gone down here. What's up? A Pokemon was stolen. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Alright. It was a young male with long red hair. Hmm. I wonder. I battled a trainer like this. Yes, indeed I did. I did happen to get his name. He said his name was a uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> okay. But uh, keeping up with serious tradition here, I always have one name that I love to name the rivals, and that is... Uh, that guy. Now, if I had enough character spaces, I would have loved to name him something... <laughs> a name inspired by my good friend Justin, uh, this dropkick. <laughs> Anyway, yes, that guy was his name. I'm not sure if it's actual name, but you know, he's just he's just a that guy sort of guy, you know? What an ass hat. <laughs> uh, you okay there, Elm? Uh, oh yeah, he's a big discovery. Um, yeah, here's Nick. I did nothing to protect this while I was in my bag. This? Yes, it is a Pokemon egg. At least I assume so. Is it really a great discovery? I mean, we can only assume that some Pokemon do come from eggs. I mean, there are bird Pokemon. Birds lay eggs. But I have no idea about the rest of them, but use your imagination. <laughs> oh yeah, Pokedex. Right. I do my best to forget about that all the time. I just, it kind of slipped my mind for a second there. <laughs> Incredible, you say? Yeah, it's, uh, it's something. It's something alright. Well, if I got potential as a trainer, sure, but I don't think he wants me to to, to fill out the Pokedex because I'm going to be good as a trainer. <laughs> I think it's just because he's lazy. We have text what it, what it takes to become the champ. Those are the words I wanted to hear. <laughs> Seem to get on great with old Blaze here, so we should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Again. Again. And again. And again, we're going to be doing this for like six more generations. Because I'm, because I'm sure Gen 8 is going to be out well before I finish all this shit off. <laughs> that closest gym is in Violet City. That was not too far away from Mr. Pokemon's house. So, yeah. The road to the championship will be a long one. So, we should probably go talk to Mum. Okay, we'll do that. Aid! Yeah, Pokedex, he said it! He said he said the words Pokedex Quest. There it is, title drop. And now we know it's official. <laughs> to fill the Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Yeah, I kind of got that. You can throw Pokeballs at Lava Pokemon. Yeah, I kind of got that. Anyway, look at the Pokeballs in the ball pockets. Yeah, so I was, I was talking about the extra storage because we've got different sections of our bag. We would have held the Pokemon egg in here and we're holding Pokeballs in the balls pockets. It's a very nice little inventory system when you now have. Alright. But we've uh, we've got a bit of a start going on here. We've gone up to we got our first Pokemon, we got our Pokedex, we battled our Well, whoever the hell that was the first time, and we've got a good start to our adventure. And so 
Next time, let's play Pokemon Crystal in the Pokedex Quest Gen 2. We're going to start off by talking with Mum and then going off on our big adventure. And of course, because we're just starting the Pokedex Quest now, we're going to be spending a lot of time in Route 29 here catching some stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> But, uh, get ready for the long haul, guys, because we got another huge Pokemon game here, and it's just... Don't get me wrong, I'm excited to get back to this. It's just still a very dumb idea. <laughs> but in any case, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.